Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the 50 milliampere constant current battery charger circuit design by using LT317. Okay. So I will explain how this circuit works and then after that I will run the simulation and I will show you the the waveform of this circuit and how how this constant current is being fed to the battery okay so so let me start explaining the circuit so you can see here now uh, this is lt 317a sometimes it is also known as lm 317a right lm 317a so this is most commonly used regu linear regulator which is used for which is used as a voltage regulator and as well as current regulator so you can use this LT317A in the form of voltage regulator and you can also use is use it as current regulator right so for today in today's application i have used lm317 as a current regulator which is which is 50 milliampere constant current for battery charging application okay so you can see here uh, it is three terminal device the one is in other one is out and the third one is adjust okay so you can see lm317 has three pin right input output and adjustable okay adjust pin so i have uh, used this here to to generate the 50 milliampere constant current so that any battery can be charged okay so if you know the specification of this LM317 that is input what should be the input so for input V in here you can see V in is connected to the input which is 12 volt so how will you get the value of V in so V in is greater than V bat plus 4.25 volt so whatever your battery voltage so let us say in our case our battery voltage is 4.2 volt so you can see here i've used let us say it is 4.2 volt battery and so v watt plus 4.25 volt that means your battery voltage is 4.2 plus 4.25 it is gonna 8.45 if you add if you add 4.2 plus 4.25 it is 8.25 right so how this 4.25 value you get this is 1.2 volt the reference of this lt317 plus the 3 volt is headroom so if you add 1.25 volt plus 3 volt you will get 4.25 volt so this is the criteria for your input voltage which is v1 and it should be at least 8.45 volt for this application i have used 12 volt input voltage okay so this is 12 volt let us talk about the output voltage output side so since we are using we are using this LM317 as a current regulator. Okay. So here you can see this is current limiting register R1 and, and your adjust pin is connected after the R1. So this limits the current, right? So this limits the current and it should be, it is designed to operate 50 milliampere constant current. So you may wonder, you cannot charge your battery by using 50 milliampere 
so it may takes lots of time okay so maybe this current 50 milli ampere current you may use for your trickle charging okay so you may use for your trickle charging of the battery okay so this how will you find the value of this resistance r1 let us calculate it so if you want to find the charging current which is given by i charge equal to 1.25 volt here i may write 1.25 volt this is reference voltage right so 1.25 volt divided by r1 so in our application the value of r1 is is 25 ohm so you can find the value of charging current which is 50 milliampere right so if you know your charging current you can find the value of r1 so if you talk in other terms so if you know your charging current how much your charging current which is going to fed into the battery so by using your charging current you can may find the value of r1 so you can alter this r1 equals to 1.25 volt divided by i charge so here here this is 50 milliampere okay so now this is input which is 12 volt and adjust pin is connected after r1 and this i have connected 4.2 volt battery okay now let me run the transient analysis and show you the waveform so go at this button run button then go at window trial window vertically so now let me show you the charging current of battery you can see your battery charging current is 50 milliampere on 50 milliampere it is 49.949 milliampere if you want to know the exact it's a 49.95 around okay so if you want to see the charging voltage here you can see the charging voltage it is 4.2 volt if you want to see the current flowing through this resistance it is around uh, it is around 49.89 if you want to see the power dissipation across this resistance you can find the power dissipation across this resistance is right the power dissipation across this resistance is you can find here this is v out into n into i r1 and it is given by 62.2 millivolt if you want if you want to find the dissipation across this u1 you can find here so dissipation across u1 is around you can check here this is 327 millivolt okay so basically basically this circuit is used for you can use this circuit for trickle charging of your battery okay so this is one of the good example to understand the current limiting uh, how do you current limit the current of lt317 and how you charge the battery if you alter the resistance value here you can alter this resistance value let me do it by 20 ohm and let me show you how now current is flowing across the battery so let me run the simulation now you can see earlier the current was 50 milliampere now the current is 62.4 milliampere okay so hope you understand the concept of 50 milliampere constant current battery charging circuit if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video